Today's video is sponsored by Skillshare. For a two-month free trial of Skillshare, head to the link in the description. Today I want to talk about priorities in a photograph and basically dissecting a quote that I heard about what makes a photo in three different elements. That would be moment, light, and composition. Now I've been thinking about this topic for the past month and I've been writing a lot about it and just trying to kind of dissect everything. And at the same time, I've also been trying to figure out where I heard this quote, because I've looked in every photography documentary I own, different photo books, different interviews I've watched on YouTube. I cannot remember at all who said this, where I heard it, and it's been driving me nuts, but I'm not going to put this video off any longer. So if you have any idea where this quote might have come from, please let me know in the comments, and I'll pin the comment down there. But it's been driving me nuts, but regardless, it's had me thinking a lot, and that's really the whole idea of this, is I want to talk about my thoughts on the topic, uh, how I've basically looked at it into my own work, and also, hopefully, this can be something that you can think about in your own. Essentially, this quote was saying that there were three things that they would look for, whoever this particular particular photographer was that said this quote, they were looking for three things when, in order to make a strong photo. They wanted to make sure that the light was strong and that it added something to the image. They looked for composition, so they looked to make sure that everything was balanced there and things worked in terms of the whole composition and how everything lined up. And also they looked for moments, so whether that be something that's moving, some sort of expression, anything like that at all, they just wanted that you know, decisive moment, that specific moment that was the right time to make the photo. And if they didn't have those three things, then they didn't feel it was as strong as it could have been. And as I've thought more and more about this, and I've looked at my own work and tried to keep that in mind even as I'm out there shooting, I just try to think about my priorities within those three elements. You know, let's say you can only get two out of three What's the one thing that you couldn't lose? You know, could you do without the interesting light but have really good composition in a moment? Could you do without a strong composition but you have great light and great moment or, you know, so on and so forth? So it's kind of got me thinking in that regard. And the idea of it isn't to aim for mediocrity. You know, ideally it would be great to have all three things in every single photo, but I don't know about you, but me personally, I take a lot of photos on a daily basis and only a very small percentage of them I consider keepers or ones that I feel are strong enough to either share with other people or hang up on my wall. Uh, there's just a lot of different elements that go into it. So today I kind of want to talk about those particular elements in some of my own photos and just what my thought process is. Me personally, I think that my priority above anything would probably be moment. And that's just because the vast majority of what I'm taking photos of on a daily basis is photos of my family and my kids. So for me, that expression and trying to catch the right expression, that to me, I think is the most prioritized or the biggest priority uh, whenever I'm taking photos, just because that adds such a sense of who that person is and trying to convey, you know, my kids and their personality in the photos, so much of that is in expression. So for me, that's the main thing I'm looking for. If composition is slightly off, but they have a great expression, I'm going to have some natural bias there because they're my kids. But, you know, applying that to other aspects as well, maybe it's not a photo of my kids, you know, maybe moment isn't as important, but if it's something that I have a little bit more time with, maybe I pay more attention to composition. So I think it just depends on what you're shooting. What we're going to do is just kind of flip through some photos and talk about each one and just discuss it. The first photo is a photo of my daughter, Nora, standing in front of a mirror, you know, basically admiring herself in this princess dress that she just got for Christmas that day. And in the photo itself, like, I, I like the photo. I like the really hard shadows. The light was behind her, so she's backlit, but she's looking into this mirror. So she, that light is bouncing off the mirror onto her, and I just really love the light. That was what drew me to taking the photo. Um, of course, obviously, it's my daughter, so <laughs> naturally I wanted to take photos of her. But, you know, I really liked the hard shadows, the high contrast there, and that light bouncing onto her I just thought was really nice. The photo itself is fine. I, you know, was just excited to take a photo of her. I didn't think much of it, but my daughter is very expressive whenever she's looking in the mirror and her dresses and she really kind of gets into the zone and she just kind of started posing and moving around and swinging. And I shot this photo where she has her arms kind of extended out and it, she has this really strong kind of pose to it. Like she feels very strong and very strongly about herself in this photo. That's the expression I get in this. You know, she is in her element. And the photo itself, it just, it makes me happy because of the way she's looking at herself. And she sees herself, at least in my interpretation, as just being really strong. And just that subtle change from just standing there with her arms at her side, but then she turned and kind of struck into this pose. And that's the moment that I'm talking about where it was just the right time and shooting it 
you know, just a second later than the first photo, but it makes a world of difference. And without that moment there, you have maybe a composition that's pleasing or lighting that's pleasing, but it was lacking something that really just added to it that really kind of stopped me in my tracks whenever I was going through the photos. This next photo was Nora and Elliot going down the slide at the park, and Molly was waiting at the bottom there, and Elliot went down right behind Nora, so as Nora is jumping off the slide and Molly's there ready to catch her, Elliot's right behind Nora, and it was just, I liked the line of all three people right there in the frame. But the light, I wasn't really crazy about. I mean, we probably shot this around noon, it looks like. You know, the sun was way high up, it was really harsh light. You can see everybody squinting their eyes, so the light wasn't really pleasing. I don't think it really adds to the photo. And on top of that, the composition I'm not crazy about as well, just because uh, from my angle, I think it would have worked if maybe I kind of lowered myself more onto their level. Of course, then I would have a lot of other things in the background. I was probably shooting at like f8 in this photo because of how bright it was. And uh, then I probably could have had some more distracting things in the background there. So maybe the composition wouldn't have worked if I dropped down lower. But in hindsight, looking at it, I just wish I was a little bit lower. So the composition, I'm not crazy about. I don't like how far Molly is on the edge of the frame either. Um, I guess you could argue that they fill the entire frame. But still, I just i am not crazy about the composition. That being said, I love this photo because it's of my family. So again, there's that natural bias there. But um, objectively looking at the photo, I like the moment, but I'm not crazy about the light, not crazy about the composition. This next image is of Nora at Carolina Beach, and she's just resting her head on Molly's shoulder as Molly was holding her. It was at the end of the day, right around sunset, everybody was exhausted, and she was just covered in sand. And I just loved the way the light was hitting her with her arm covered in sand there, and she just rested her head there and was relaxing. And that was the kind of moment that I was looking for. But with something like this, I had a little bit more time to kind of work with that scene and kind of plan things a little bit more. You know, I took my time with the composition, how I framed the shot, what I focused on, and so on. So for this one, I really liked the way everything came together, but it's that kind of moment where it's going to last a little bit longer. It's not somebody jumping off of the slide like the previous photo. She was just resting there, relaxing, and I could kind of take my time with it. But it's those kind of things where I think you have a little bit more wiggle room. But uh, for me, I was happy with all three of those elements in this photo. And then complete opposite of the last photo, this photo has a much different feeling to it. This is our son, Elliot, who absolutely hates getting his hair cut. But I really, really liked these photos that I shot. One, just because he is very overly dramatic about getting his hair cut, so naturally I grabbed my camera. But just the way that he's looking right at the camera, almost like pleading for help, uh, I really liked that particular shot. I have other ones where he's looking other places, but him staring directly at the camera... I really liked the way this one looked, and Molly's hand, the way it kind of arches up across the frame, and it's just almost like a claw, like holding his head into place. Uh, I like the composition of that. I like that you can see a slight grin on Molly's face. Uh, there were other photos where you could see more of her face, and it was more in focus, and I think that added to the story a little bit, but in hindsight, after going back through the photos, the one thing that stood out more than any of them was the fact that he was making direct eye contact with me, and I thought that really just just kind of pulled you in a lot more than you know the other photos did so composition and moment there great I really have I'm, I'm happy with that uh, light I'm not really crazy about it was just you know dim lighting in our house it wasn't like I had any kind of you know natural light coming in or anything this was shot late in the evening so this is uh, T Max 3200 and I probably shot this at like a 30th or a 60th of a second. So, uh, yeah, I definitely didn't have a lot of light to work with there. I would have liked some better light in this photo, but it is what it is. I mean, it's just the nature of shooting candid stuff like that around the house. But still, I am happy with this one. This is a photo of my brother Jay holding our daughter Nora. Uh, he's a quadriplegic, and she was sitting in his lap, and she just absolutely loved riding around on his lap in the wheelchair. And uh, this photo, he was parked right over in front of a mirror that she has in her playroom, again, so she can, you know, look at herself and her princess dresses. But she's sitting on his lap, and she was just completely content. And the way she had her hands just rested there on his wrist, and uh, he leaned in to give her a kiss on the head, and I shot the photo. And the light, the light I'm okay with. There was some uh, window light directly to my right in this photo. That worked out just fine, and uh, the moment, I really liked that as well. She was smiling, and, you know, he leaned in to give her a kiss on the head. 
Compositionally speaking, I wish I would have been able to shoot this a little bit closer. Um, maybe in hindsight, I would have shot this in portrait orientation, so that way they could really fill the frame. Um, I shot this with my M6, so you can't focus as close as you would with an SLR. Um, so I think maybe if I just shot this in portrait orientation, I could fill the frame up a little bit better, and I think I would like the composition a lot more that way. Um, these are the kind of things that you see later, and in hindsight, you kick yourself because you can't just go and recreate that. I mean, you can, but then it loses some of that magic, but, um, you know, it's just one of those things you've got to take what you can get. And again, for me having that bias, because this is my family, uh, although there are things like that that will bug me to no end, um, you know, it's a photo that I could see on my wall for decades and on my family's walls for decades, and I'll never get tired of seeing it just because of the moment, not because of the technical things like composition or anything like that. So those are just a few of the photos that I took a look at and thought maybe they could apply to this topic. Obviously, I didn't want to share a hundred different photos as I probably could have, you know, just for the sake of this video. This has probably already been plenty long enough. Before we wrap things up, though, I want to take a second and thank our sponsor today once again, which is Skillshare. Skillshare is an amazing online learning community with thousands of classes on just about anything you can think of, but most importantly, they have some amazing photography classes. I've personally taken some great classes on Skillshare from people like Andre Wagner, Stephen Venasco, and Dan Rubin. It's a monthly subscription service, and it actually costs less than most online learning platforms do. But if you want to try Skillshare out entirely free, you can get a two-month free trial if you sign up using the link in the description. But I hope at the very least this video got you thinking about your own work and where your priorities lie, because I think for anybody it's important to think about what it is that you're constantly looking for. If you look and see it, you know, maybe what the strongest thing is in all of your work, that's probably going to be one of those things that you really prioritize. So maybe you can just kind of focus in on that and maybe look at the other aspects that maybe aren't as important to you. What can you do to kind of focus on those and improve on those things to really kind of help build the photo from all aspects of it? So really, I challenge everybody to just think about this kind of stuff. Ask yourself these kind of questions. Take notes. Write about it. For me personally, that goes a long way, and I'm always just trying to grow and improve as a photographer, and I think that's something that really anybody should do. So if you guys have any questions or thoughts about this, please let me know in the comments below. So I want to thank you guys for everything. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.